Hi, and welcome to Puzzle Pieces. In each episode, I'm going to look at a different type of puzzle, show you how to solve it, and then explain how to make one yourself. And in this episode, I'm going to look at a text perspective puzzle, like this one. Now, in a puzzle like this, there's a secret message that's been written in such a way that it's only visible when you look at the puzzle from a certain point of view. In the example here, when you look at the page from straight ahead, there's not much to see. There's some kind of elongated vertical lines, but there's no message. However, if you rotate the page so that your eye is near the base and you're looking up the page at a narrow angle, the message becomes clear like this. Now, if you'd like to make a puzzle like this yourself, here's how you can do so using some free open source software called Inkscape. OK, so here I've got Inkscape loaded up and the first thing I'm going to do is select the text tool down here and then choose a font. Now, if you choose a kind of simple font, something like uh, Franklin, that's going to give you a result that looks a bit like a barcode. Uh, if you choose something a bit more fancy with serifs on, like Garamond, uh, that's going to be a bit more sort of organic looking. So then we'll type our message over here. We'll just drag that out of the way. It doesn't matter where you uh, put that in the page because what we're going to do is to define our sort of rectangle about here on the page and that's where it's going to be repositioned. So we'll just uh, put the page grid on to make it easier to see where to line the rectangle up and then select the uh, curve tool here and we'll just click to define the perspective points we want. So um, this is a bit of trial and error, but um, you want it to be very tall and with a little bit of um, angle towards the top, so something a bit like that. Uh, and now go back and select the text again, because that's a text object, we need to convert that into a path. So we just do object path. And then holding down the shift key, we'll select the text and the polygon. Go extensions, modify path, and click perspective. And what that's going to do is that's going to take the text, which is now a path, and it's going to apply it to the bounding box of the polygon. And so there's the result. Um, so what we can do now is we no longer need the, uh, the perspective polygon we drew. Um, so I can just select that and hit delete to get rid of it. And now we have our text, which we can uh, just select that and do file export that as a ping image and then you can use the image as you want.